Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. WBC President Mauricio Suleiman says Canelo is guilty, guilty of eating bad meat. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work in. Yesterday, Canelo Alvarez, he withdrew from the main event. It was too little, too late, not enough time to really promote the event. And he's likely going to be suspended by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. We'll hear more on April 18th what his fate holds. Now, a WBC president who had a standoff with Canelo in recent memory around the time when Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and Canelo fought, they mended everything and it was announced. And then after, everything kind of spiraled downward because Canelo failed two drug tests with clenbuterol in his system. But they buried the hatchet and WBC has been um, offering their full support to Canelo in lieu of these findings. This is what Suleiman said. Each athlete is responsible for what enters his body and Canelo is guilty of having eaten meat and having neglected that factor. But it is not fair to be accused of doping because based on what the evidence is, he did not. Yes, he his attitude has generated enemies and unfortunately this situation has hit the sport, but hopefully this is an experience that will help other athletes and will help address the serious situation of clenbuterol in sports and in this country. They have a hearing for April 18th, three weeks before the fight, but being under a suspicion by the Nevada State Athletic Commission was making it virtually impossible to carry out such a complex event and the most important fight of the year. It's very sad and painful how the whole process was played out and May 5th is now without the fight that everyone was waiting for, end quote. Now, I understand that the WBC just had a, a, a riff with Canelo. So, you know, I mean, if they were to go against him in this time of need where everybody else is like jumping down his throat and calling him all kinds of cheaters and names and Clinello Alvaroids and stuff like that, that would probably forever ruin and, and shift the pendulum of their relationship. So, I mean, I guess I expected the WBC to back him. But the fact is, me nor the WBC or anyone who's not directly in camp in concert with Canelo, we don't really know what he's doing. You know what I mean? And what Suleiman is saying, he's 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 backing up Canelo in this claim. I don't know. I'll, I'll be the first to tell you. I don't know. Maybe it was maintaining me. Maybe it was something more sinister. I don't know. But you can't just say he ate the meat and end of story just because the levels were low or consistent with contaminated meat because when when people see this is the thing the clenbuterol and stuff like that those are kind of like diuretics and sometimes people use those as masking agents to flush other things harder drugs out of their system so you could be weaning yourself off or tapering off of these different drugs you got to get with all the chemists and the angel memo heredias i'm sure they can elaborate even more so than i can but the bottom line is some people taper off on the end of their cycle when they are actually cheating that's why you could have a low level even if you were cheating you can have a low level in your system so what he's saying is he's saying is consistent based on the the low amount but that doesn't mean alexander povetkin wasn't using meldonium because he was trying to gain an unfair advantage that doesn't mean canelo didn't use clenbuterol and it was in the meat you know what i mean just because you have a low level that doesn't mean anything because again you don't do the same amounts ongoing like I, i've known in life people who have competed in like like national bodybuilding competitions and stuff like that who are roided and they juice and they have different cycles it's a whole formula it's a whole system so i don't know the wbc seems to back canelo 100 percent I, I would just drop it. I mean, he's already out of the fight, but statements like this, you can't um, really corroborate. You don't know if he, if it's the meat and you don't know if it's other because people like Pauli Malinaji, who's probably seen some things, heard some things in gyms and professional fighter, he's saying the opposite. Me, I'm keeping it neutral in the sense of it looks fishy, but I don't know. I mean, there is a chance it's tainted meat, but I don't know. Either way, it's not a good look for Canelo, no matter what the WBC or Oscar says 
for damage control. I seen Oscar De La Hoya had a statement that says Canelo is the model boxer or something. But I mean, you could say that all day, but that's not how the public is perceiving him right now. So, I mean, no matter how much the WBC or like I said, De La Hoya, whoever intervenes, the damage is kind of done. People are going to pick their side, whether it's for Canelo or against him. You know what I mean? But that's my little two cent. And it's funny, too, because Deontay Wilder said, I'm so frustrated. I just want to catch a body. I want to I want a body on my resume. Like, and I heard the WBC was investigating Wilder saying he wanted to catch a body. He hasn't actually maimed or tried to hurt someone or failed a drug test, to my knowledge. Right. And just because he said he was going to catch a body. I heard they were investigating him, you know what I mean, to see if there's any kind of disciplinary action that they want. So I hope they don't do anything to Wilder for making statements as the bronze bomber. And then you have the president of the WBC who's basically vouching for Canelo saying, hey, Canelo, only thing he's guilty of is eating bad meat. I don't think that's fair because, I mean, if what Wilder did was against the the rules of ethics for saying I want to kill somebody in the ring, I want to. I want to catch him. I'm so frustrated. Mauricio, I want a body so bad. Like, if all that is bad, then what about failing two drug tests, especially when the WBC has their own clean boxing program using VADA to prevent this type of stuff? And then now you have them saying, hey, the levels were low. It's unfortunate. Canelo, he's only guilty. I mean, at the end of the day, I said this. It's a bad look for Team Canelo. End of story. Whether it was tainted meat or not, it's a bad look. And the first word out of Suleiman's mouth is each athlete is responsible for what enters his body. That, I mean, you could have just left it at that because that's what that's the truth. I mean, it's, you were caught with it. There's millions of people who have fought, thousands of people who have fought, who visited places like China, Mexico, like Pacquiao. He fought in Macau, China. He didn't fail no drug test, to my knowledge. You know what I mean? Brandon Reels fought in Macau, China. China has the same issue with with the clenbuterol. Let me know your thoughts of the WBC back in Canelo. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's ego signing. Fight fans, make sure you copy your tickets to this year's Box Fan Expo. It's going down May 5th, 2018, only in Las Vegas. I'm gonna be there. We got a ton of great boxers gonna be there. You don't wanna miss this. There is a link in the description so you can purchase your tickets right now. Hopefully I see you guys there. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.